This is the first of several tutorials on how to use the BVS Smart Camera. This will be Lesson 1, and it will specifically deal with how to connect the camera and how to update its firmware to make sure it is on the most current version. Now let's look at what's necessary to create and configure a BVS Smart Camera installation. Starting with a C-mount lens. This is an example of a part number that can be used in our online catalog to find the different C-mount lens variants available. Balif has several available for sale. Use the correct C-mount lens necessary for the image size you're trying to capture. Balif also sells several different types of optical screw-on filters that can be screwed on to the front of the C-mount lens if needed. Again, consult the online catalog for availability. Next is lighting. Balif offers several different variants of the BAE lighting family. Lighting is critical to every vision application. There is no amount of computing power in the smart camera or any other vision device that can compensate for a poorly lit application. In a later example and lesson, we will talk about the type of late lighting applications and how they can be configured. Next is mounting accessories. Balif offers a full line of BMA mounting accessories that can be found in our online catalog to best suit the type of application mounting you have. Connection cables. There are different variations of cables required for connecting the smart camera, starting with power, GIGA-E and Ethernet, I.O. and lighting I.O., depending on the variant of camera you're using. And finally, make sure you have an adequate power supply. Balif sells quite a few large variations of power supplies online that can be used to power up the smart camera with 24 volts. This is an example of the GIGA-E Ethernet cable. Please note that this cable is an 8-pin connector with an example of the part number below. There are several different cable length variants available for this connector. You will not be able to plug a 4-pin Ethernet connection into the GIGA-E Ethernet port on the camera. So be sure to make sure you have the correct cable for each type of port, whether you're using the TCP/IP IO version or the field bus version. Next, let's look at the type of connections available on the camera. This is an example of the I.O. variant using TCP/IP GIGA-E port. There is a power port, an I.O. port for connecting discrete I.O. to the camera, as well as a lighting I.O. port for triggering external lighting, and finally the GIGA-E Ethernet port or LAN port. This will be a 8-pin GIGA-E connection. The other variant is the field bus variant. That has a power port a field bus port connection for either Profinet or Ethernet IP, an IO link port, and finally a GIGA-E Ethernet port as well. Next, let's look at the LED indicators on the bottom of the smart light camera. This is an example of the IO variant of the smart camera. Above the GIGA-E port, you will have an acknowledge and a link light showing the network status. On the front of the camera, you will also have a power LED and a signal LED indicating LED. On the field bus version of the camera, you will have an acknowledge and a link light below the Ethernet or field bus, Profinet field bus port. You will also have an acknowledge and a link light for network activity above the GIGA-E Ethernet port as well. On the front of the camera, you will have the same power LED and signal LED as you do on the I.O. variant. Now we're ready to begin to use the camera. Start by making the necessary connections as shown in the BVS Smart Camera Manual appropriate for the camera type you're using. Once these connections are made, the next step will be to connect to the camera. As a side note, before connecting to the BVS Smart Camera, you will want to verify that both of your IP protocol settings are set correctly in order to recognize the IP address you'll be typing in of the smart camera. The easiest way to do this is to go to the bottom right side of your screen, right click on your network adapter icon, click on the open network and sharing center, 
Click on the Change Adapter setting on the left side control panel. Then find the uh, number of the connector port you're using. Right click on that and select Properties. In the Properties window you'll see Internet Protocol version 6, Internet Protocol version 4. You will want to make sure that both of these boxes are checked. If these boxes are checked, once you type in the address of the smart camera, you should be able to recognize that through the port. Next, we want to go online with the BVS smart camera for operational purposes and to verify that the firmware is the latest version. This is done by typing in the HTTP name that's located on the label on the top of the camera. This name will take us directly onto the built-in BVS cockpit software within the built-in browser of the camera. It will take a few minute moments for the software to transfer the information to your web browser. Once this has happened, you will begin to see the entire interface of the BVS cockpit software. Going over to the settings button, on the far right of the screen, click on this button and you will go on to the system setting menu. In this menu you will see several different options for setting up the configuration of the camera of which settings will change depending on the variant you're using. Within the first system screen you will notice a number. This version should be the latest version of firmware available. To check, we will go online to the Balif website for the appropriate camera variant we are using to look and see which software firmware is available. Upon going to the Balif website, the easiest way to find the latest version of firmware as well as downloadable manuals and information about the camera is to click on the portion of the menu where you can type in the product number. Type in the short order code for that particular vision camera and then click on the camera that comes up under the product section matching that number. On that product page, if you scroll down, you will find that in the download section, you will have several different documents you can download related to that camera. This includes the latest version of the cockpit software for configuring and operating the camera, as well as the different manuals that are available. Under the cockpit software, you will notice a variant number for the firmware. In this case, this is cockpit software 2.1. If you click on that, you'll be able to download that file to your PC. Do so and save that in a location you can retrieve to be able to transfer that file later to the camera. If your BVS smart camera requires a firmware update, Start by opening a file manager window and in the top address line type in backslash backslash and then the same name that was located after the HTTP login containing the name of the camera. Once that's been typed in you hit enter and you should see the following folders come up. Within these folders you will also notice a folder called update. Next you want to go to the file folder in which you copied your firmware off of the website. Using the copy command, copy that file over to the updates folder within the camera. Paste that folder into the updates folder. At this time you will see that the file is being transferred over to the smart camera. Once the file has completed being transferred over to the camera, you will notice that a message will pop up on the screen of the camera in your browser indicating that the file has been transferred and is being processed. Within that message window, you will also notice a countdown timer. During the availability of that window and the process of its countdown timer, you will not want to power off the camera at any time. The updating bar on the bottom of that window will indicate when the updating has been completed. Once the camera has completed its update, it will begin the process of rebooting and reestablishing itself to your browser address.
There is nothing further you have to do at this point until after the camera has updated. If you see this loading inspection program window, it just indicates that there are prior inspections on the camera and that they were converted and updated as needed. You are now ready to begin the use of the BVS Smart Camera. We will move on to the next lesson, which will indicate the different types of techniques used for using lighting, as well as how to begin the process of establishing and setting up a new BVS application.